Hey guys, so we moved into an apartment and we have a lot of chlorine flavor and smell coming from the water, which means we don't want the ice maker in the freezer making our ice because we don't want that flavor to dissipate into our drinks after the ice melts. So now we have this nugget ice maker and I'm really excited about it for multiple reasons. Number one, who doesn't like nugget ice? Number two, now we can get our ice without that chlorine flavor. And number three, those ice makers in the freezers are always broken or breaking anyway. So a countertop model ice maker is absolutely a good choice. This one is super simple to use. When you get it, just because of shipping and refrigerant levels in the machine, make sure to let it stand upright for two hours before plugging it in and using it. Afterwards, I like to use filtered water because of the chlorine flavor that I was telling you about. All you have to do is lift the lid, remove the ice tray, pour your water into the reservoir until it hits the max line. Put your basket in, flip down the lid, turn the machine on, and you're making ice. Okay, so here is our ice maker on our counter. Making ice right now. You can see up in there, there's an auger pushing out the little nuggets of ice. And I've got a basket of nugget ice here ready to use. This basket was the basket that we put in on top of the water reservoir where the water's at and the water goes up through the auger and makes little ice cubes. This ice maker makes up to 33 pounds of ice a day. You can see it fits right on our counter. It's about the same size as a Keurig, maybe a little bit bigger. It isn't extremely quiet, but it's not extremely loud either. So you can hear it working. You can hear the auger going and you can hear the refrigeration going in order to cool down the auger enough to make ice, but this little nugget ice is perfect for cooling down your drink because it's so small it makes the drink very cold very fast. And if you like to chew ice, then you can see it's a lot easier to chew the small nuggets than it is to chew a big ice cube. Now this isn't exactly like the crunch ice that you would get at Sonic or maybe Circle K that all of us know and love but it's pretty dang close for a countertop model. And these tiny nuggets crunch pretty easy.